Number 10, Mario Tennis Aces. It seems only right to start the list with a Mario game, and in this title, he's bringing along his friends and some enemies. It may take younger kids some time to get familiar with the game's tennis mechanics, but once they do, there will be plenty of content for them to enjoy here in Aces. As with all of the Mario sports titles over the years, it's not strictly about tennis here. There's an adventure mode, boss battles, mini games, and of course multiplayer where up to four players can battle it out on the same screen. Number 9. Super Mario Maker 2 One of the first games I ever remember playing as a kid was the original Super Mario Brothers. With Mario Maker 2, you can take a walk down memory lane as the side-scrolling platformer is as good as it's ever been. The beauty of Mario has always been in its simplicity. The controls are incredibly easy for anyone to pick up and play. At its core, the game is about running and jumping. But as any diehard Mario fans know, there's an insane amount of depth to the gameplay, even within the simple control setup. Oh, and then there's the ability to make your own courses. This is where you can let your child's creativity run wild as they build their own levels. And considering the game allows up to four players at a time, you can all enjoy it together. Number 8. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee It would be very difficult to make a list of family-friendly games without including Pokemon somewhere on the list. Now it's true, Pokemon is mostly a single-player experience, but it does a pretty good job of teaching younger players the basics of role-playing games. It's also not only a single-player experience this time around. Pokemon Let's Go brings two players together on the same screen to work cooperatively for the first time in a Pokemon game. It's somewhat limited, but the option is there, and it's particularly great for really young kids who are just starting out. I gave Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee the Nod over Pokemon Sword and Shield because the latter doesn't have the same co-op features of Let's Go. That being said, both are games kids and adults should enjoy. Number 7. Overcooked 2 Now I have to confess, I haven't actually played Overcooked 2, but I absolutely want to. It is definitely on my need-to-buy list. On its surface, the objective is simple. Work in teams of two to prepare certain dishes and see how many you can get in a given time frame. It doesn't take long for things to get wild and frantic as you'll both be barking out instructions to one another in real time. In this one, it's important to embrace the lighthearted nature of it so the kids don't get too caught up in the winning and losing. My young son hates to lose, so I may have to wait a few years before trying this one. But it's great for the older kids and one where parents can get in on the competition as it supports up to four players on screen at a time. Number six. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you had a favorite Nintendo character growing up, chances are they're in Smash. There are 74 playable characters, and that's not even including the downloadable content. Now, if you're new to Smash, know that it is a fighting game. However, it's done in a very cartoonish manner. You'll find no blood and gore here. What you will find are options. Tons and tons of options. You can set up matches in about any way you want. 2v2, 4-player free-for-all, 8-player free-for-all, 1v1, items or no items. Oh, and you'll have more than 100 stages to choose from. It's a fantastic party game that can be played as casually or as competitively as you want. There it is! Let's freaking go! Alright guys, if you've played at least one of the games I've mentioned so far, go ahead and let me know which one down in the comments. And if you spot one anywhere on this list that you want to purchase, I'm also going to include Amazon affiliate links down in the description below. Now, top five, here we come. Number 5. Kirby Star Allies Kirby's appearance is just naturally appealing to kids. He's gentle, he's a giant pink puffball, he just has a way of setting them at ease. And just as Kirby can set kids at ease, so too does Kirby Star Allies, which is a very forgiving game. It takes quite a few hits for him to die, and there's also Kirby's unlimited flight ability that allows him to fly over numerous obstacles in your path. The game also has a ton of power-ups and plenty of levels to keep things fresh. You can also play through the entire game together with up to four players on the same screen. My only knock on Kirby is there are a few minor mechanics in the game that can be confusing for young kids. Even me as an experienced gamer, there were a couple of times when I had to really search around to find the answer to one of the obstacles in our path. Those moments are few and far between though, and this was one of the first games my son and I played together, and we have nothing but fond memories of it. Number 4. Super Mario Odyssey Okay, so this one is best enjoyed as a single player experience, I admit. But my son had such a blast playing and I had such a good time watching him that I couldn't not include it on the list. There is a co-op mode, but it's fairly limited. A second player can take control of Mario's sidekick throughout this game, his hat, Cappy. But even my son, who was four at the time, grew bored of it pretty quickly. If you want to try out the co-op mode, I'd actually recommend you let your child take the primary controls while the parent handles Cappy. 
you can always switch it up if you need to later on. Kids can also enable the assist mode, which gives Mario more health, displays objective markers on screen, and is also more forgiving when you fall off a stage. You'll only lose a single heart instead of ending Mario's life instantly. This is a fantastic feature that I am so glad they added to the game for young kids. And overall, guys, this is honestly one of the best games on the Nintendo Switch platform, period. Kids or no kids. Number three, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. In the age of online gaming, we just don't see split screen games too often anymore. Not true for Mario Kart. Up to four players at a time can race on the same screen. Mario Kart also supports numerous control options, so you can even use a single Joy-Con as a full controller if you want to make room for everyone. Look, chances are you probably already know about Mario Kart. All you need to know about this iteration for the Switch, though, is that the series is as fun and frantic as ever. In terms of specific child-friendly options, the game makes it very easy to enable an auto-steering mode as well as an auto-acceleration mode, which can be so helpful for young ones playing for the first time. Number 2. Super Mario Party Now look, if we're just talking in terms of quality, it's true, Super Mario Party is not the second best game on this list. The reason I put it number 2 though, is because if you're looking for a night of fun for the whole family, for a variety of different age groups, then it's hard to beat Mario Party. If you've played any Mario Party game before, you know how this goes. Everything is set up like a board game, and as you progress, your group will compete in various mini-games along the way. It's a familiar formula, but it's ultimately one that works. Games of 10 turns take roughly an hour. You can also set it to more turns if you're looking for a longer game. This one also supports up to four players on screen together with all those multiple control options that I talked about for Mario Kart as well. Alright guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button before you go, and then give me a drum roll here as we get ready for number one, no surprise, Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's only been out for a month, but my son and I have already made numerous memories playing Animal Crossing together. We prefer to play separately and watch one another, but the game does include a co-op mode for up to four players where you can walk around the island and perform certain tasks together. The game teaches math, fosters creativity, inspires kids to learn about nature, and gives you an entire island to work on projects together. It's been the source of numerous smiles and laughs for my family over the past few weeks, and I can't wait to see what new island memories we'll make going forward. So guys, there it is, my top 10 Nintendo Switch games for kids. Now, I know I missed some of your favorites, so be sure to let me know which ones down there in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell before you go. That's gonna be it for me today. I will talk to you again soon.